Richard, this is definitely a question for you. It All comes right. from Stephen in Cupertino, California, and he writes, when making a threaded plumbing connection, when should you use Teflon tape, pipe dope, something else, or nothing at all? Well, that's a good question. When most people think of threads, they think of this. It's a machine thread. It's a straight thread. Most nuts and bolts have it. And you can make that nut go up and down because this is straight. This is not the type of thread we use normally in plumbing. We use one called a tapered thread. So if you look at this piece of pipe, there was material right here, and someone took a pipe die and cut threads. And you'll notice, if you look carefully, oh, yeah. that the thread is smaller right here, and it gets bigger as it goes up. I never noticed that before. So now, as you take, uh, tighten that in, the taper gets tighter. Huh. All right? So on a straight thread, as this nut moves, it never gets tighter until it hits something. That's right. But as that thread travels, it tightens up. That's right. So oh. even when you tighten it up, though, it still will not be liquid tight. You still need some form of thread sealant. All right. So what sealant do you use? Well, nowadays, people are using plastic for everything. So the, the popular thread sealant is this. It's this called Teflon tape. It comes on rolls. Yeah. And the best way to apply this is to hold the, the work in your left hand. And now you'll notice that I'm going to go around. The Teflon does not have any adhesion, so you have to pull it tight enough so right. it seals onto itself. It's almost filling those threads That's just right. a tiny That's bit. That's right. So you go two or three times. And now when you get to this point, the important thing is to pull it tight enough so it seals yeah. onto itself. Okay. okay. And then you just tighten it in. Great. All right. Now, this is what's used nowadays, but I still am partial to this, some sort of pipe sealant mm -hmm. or pipe dope, they call it. Uh, this is there's two different brands that we use. Uh, one, and we go on here with the threads. So this is kind of a liquid. I mean, is this a is this a permanent seal? Is this going to set up? Well, the nice thing is it'll fill between the threads, but it'll never set up so hard you can't take it apart. You always want to be able to be able to take the work apart later. Right. All right. Understood. So that would just thread right in right here. Okay. Yeah. And tighten it up. Now, when I'm connecting to old work like this radiator connection, I'm going to use wicking. So I'll still use pipe dope. And when you say wicking, are you talking about this sort of ball of thread here? That's right. Why don't you pull out a single piece of that wicking? Just one strand? Yeah. Okay, that's for you. I'll just snap that off for you. So now, in this case, I'm actually going to put this wicking so it lays right into the threads. So, so what are you doing? You're filling up those threads Absolutely. even more? Absolutely. So now what happens is, as liquid touches it, that string or wicking will just expand slightly so it'll act like a caulking. Oh, very clever. So in plumbing, it sounds like any time you have threads, you're sealing them. Well, you have to seal them, but I actually won't use thread sealant on every thread. Let me show you what I mean. This is a radiator valve on a, you know, radiator's right here, the pipe comes up here. And talk, let's talk about this connection. It's actually a union connection. Now, in this case, this thread is straight. The Which, nut is straight. So it's just going to pull two things That's together. Right. The, the liquid tight connection is going to be because we bring this face tight enough against this one. It's called a ground joint. Yep. So I'm not going to use any thread sealant on, right there on these threads, but I might use a little touch of pipe dope oh. right here because when, as I make these pieces together, it's going to just make a nice tight seal, yeah. help us make a nice tight seal. Okay. Now, there are actually some um, connections where there's a rubber gasket already yeah. installed, right? Yeah. On some of these new uh, faucets, these connections right here, again, this is a straight connection. This is a water supply going up to the bottom of a lavatory. And in this case, I don't need any pipe dope right here. It has a rubber gasket, and we just want to make this tight enough to compress that rubber gasket to the bottom of the faucet. Great information. So, Stephen, I think that is the straight dope on making plumbing seals. <laughs>